In this video, we're going to study what happens when the integral of f of x dx from 1 to infinity diverges. In particular, we want to understand why does that make the associated sum of f of n diverge. And to do that, we're going to look at a particular example. We're going to look at the function f of x equals 1 over x. And we're going to compare the integral to the sum. So the integral, of course, is all of the area underneath this curve. And I'm going to break it up into pieces. I'm going to break it up into chunks of, psi of width 1. And we know that the area under this piece is less than the area of this rectangle. What is the area of the rectangle? Well, the area of the rectangle is 1. So we know that 1 is bigger, bigger I'm going to write bigger or equal, but it's actually bigger than the integral from 1 to 2, not from 0 to 1, the integral from 1 to 2 of f of x dx. And then if we want to know the area of the next piece, well, the area of this rectangle is f of a half, uh, f of 2, which is a half. So we have 1 half is bigger or equal to the integral from 2 to 3 of f of x dx. And likewise, we can look at this rectangle and this rectangle and this rectangle and so on. And what we discover is that the sum gives the areas under all of the rectangles. The integral gives the area underneath the curve. But there's more area underneath the rectangles than there is underneath the curve. Since the total area under the, rect under the curve is infinite, the total area under the rectangles also has to be infinite. So to sum up, we know that f of 1 is at least as big as the integral from 1 to 2 of f of x dx. f of 2 is at least as big as the integral from 2 to 3. In general, f of n is at least as big as the integral from n to n plus 1 because f of n is the area of a rectangle and this is the area under a curve that's under that rectangle. If you add these things together, we get that Sn, which is the sum of the first n terms, is at least as big as the integral from 1 to 2 plus the integral from 2 to 3 plus the integral from n to n plus 1, and that's the integral from 1 to n plus 1. As n goes to infinity, this gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because we said the integral diverges. Since this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this has to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So Sn has to go to infinity and that means that our sum diverges.